Hey guys, this week's episode is going to come from uh, CrossFit Reykjavik in Iceland. I'm here with Annie. Hi. You guys probably know of her, maybe. And uh, we are here to prepare for the open workout 12.2. A lot of snatches, basically. So we're going to keep the work warm up really specific to snatch only. Okay? We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to use just light weights. They're about 1.25 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds, but it's something. Use small weights, basically. We're going to do four different things specifically to prepare you. The first thing, we're going to get ready for that shoulder cut rotator cuff. We're going to get some strain in there, you're going to get those small muscle groups uh, fatigued. So we're going to do some work. And it's going to just use her hips, and she's going to sway back and forth. If you watched Kelly's warm-up videos, this is kind of the same thing. We want to work that internal rotation, a little bit of extension into the shoulder. After she's done about five to 10 reps, depending how she feels, she's going to change her feet around and do exactly the same thing. This time going all the way up. The movement of the hips is really important for this to be effective. Okay, she's done about five reps on that frontal plane. We're going to switch to sagittal plane. She's going to reach to extension and full flexion. Nice. So the idea there is just to get your hips and your shoulder blade moving together, get that rotation cup fighter. That's number one. Number two, would be doing the snatch, and we've got two versions. We've got the high hip start and we've got the lower hip start. And you just want to have options in both of them. We're going to start with the high hip version. And it's going to set her feet up straight, heels underneath the shoulders. We're going to do nine different foot positions so you can add the other missing ones if you want to, with one foot forward and the other foot forward afterwards. But let's look at the basics. And it's going to set a high hip snatch set up. She's just going to snatch from that. She's going to come back down, switch her feet outside. Go again, go back down, feet inside. She's just giving herself basically some options, getting the proper reception going on, getting the muscles firing up again. She's going to go wide, feet forward, same thing. This is not where you will hopefully end up in the workout, but you might as well be prepared. Good, and then she can go really narrow as well. Feet together, same thing, high hip start. She's getting really nice work on those shoulders by working through that internal rotation to external rotation on every rep, and then finally internal rotating to feet. So on top of that, if you want, you could have one foot forward or the other foot forward. You can do other foot variations in there as well. Then we're going to do the same thing with the low hip start. So feet forward, low hip position start, excellent. And she's going to go from here, same thing. Good, feet out, and the same, feet in. You guys can play around with you. If you have two different foot uh, positions that you use, hip positions that you use, just use those two hip positions to get ready. And like I said, hopefully you don't end up in all of these positions in the workout. It's just getting you prepared if you do. so that she feels a stretch in the front of the hip. She's going to go back down to that kind of high hip snatch setup, but she's going to just simply snatch from that, keeping her midline nice and tight, three sets. We go again, a couple more reps. Okay, so she's working dynamically through that hip extension range while she's also warming up the shoulders. So it's going to make a whole body, whole body movement. Okay, so four ideas. First one was let's get the rotator cuff nice and warmed up with all these variations. The next two, high hip start, low hip start, different foot, foot positions just to prepare you. You can go forward or backward as well if you want. And then the last one on the box, get those hip flexors nice and open, get that hip extension going on. On top of those ideas, check out Gymnastics Mod, check out Envoys for more ideas, check out Kelly's awesome squat warm up from a couple of weeks back where they touched all these different positions. And make sure that your hips are good to go for this one. Good luck, guys. I still have a point of view to finish it off. <laughs>